Welcome to 360 Sports Network, home of the Road to the Final Four podcast series, where we break down every conference tournament and see who will get that automatic bid and see who will be left out in the dust with their bubbles being burst. Today we want to look at the Mountain West Conference, and I look at San Diego State as a team that has been good this year, but maybe has been a little overrated at times. I think for some reason, San Diego State, well, um, not for some reason, they are definitely a team to be reckoned with, especially after what they did last year. They actually flew a little under the radar to begin with. I still wonder, though, what team will show up for the tournament. They did have a three-game stretch where they lost three pretty bad games. One at UNLV, not so bad, but then losing to New Mexico and then at Air Force in three straight games in one week. That was a very rough week for the Aztecs. They've bounced back since then, winning five games since then, but we'll see. Even their first round game against Boise State might not be as easy as everybody thinks it is. UNLV, currently ranked 20th, they're also looking good. 26-7 and seven overall record. Uh, who knows what could happen for the UNLV running Rebels, but to me, I look at the fact that they... When they score, it's because of the assists. They have great guard play. They have a good inside-out game as well. Uh, Their leading scorer and rebounder, uh, Moser, with 14 points and just under 11 rebounds per game. Mike Moser is a great player, and he could cause some trouble just because of his ability to not only score uh, with his 6'8 frame down low, but also in his ability to get the rebounds and to kick it back out for a couple of big plays down there, too. Not to mention, he's not too bad from outside when he shoots it either. Uh, but really, one team that is being talked about, and it's mainly because of their questionable uh, into questionable call being into the tournament to begin with, is Colorado State. They have a top 20 RPI, a top 5 strength of schedule. The worst thing uh, that could happen for them at this point is if they were to lose to San Diego State in the semifinals. And really, Colorado State is right on the edge. They might get some help from some teams in other conferences. They might need losses from, say, Miami, from Northwestern, uh, Seton Hall. Those losses would help them to propel forward into that uh, last four in spot. However, a win against San Diego State would make them a lock to be the fourth team out of the Mountain West to make the tournament. And that strength of schedule being in the top five looks really good. It's tough to tee a 10 or 11 loss team with a top 5 strength of schedule out of the dance. But it's all about what they want, and by they I mean the selection committee, who, of course, we never know what they are thinking. As for this conference tournament, I do have Colorado State beating San Diego State, but I have them losing in the championship game to New Mexico, New Mexico being a team also that has, at times, flown a little bit under the radar. They are 25 and 6 on the year. And, again, same thing. They had a stretch where they had a couple of really big wins. They beat San Diego State on the road, and then they uh, finished off two days later with a big win against number 11, UNLV, beating them by 20. But then immediately after that, they lose two games to Colorado State and TCU. So, again, which team shows up? That's what we're going to have to find out. And the Lobos are going to make the tournament anyway, but I can see them being a team that can win it easily. I can see him being a team that shows up and does poorly against the TCU. You never can tell what will happen in the Mountain West. Well, that's it for this edition of the 3S and Road to the Final Four podcast series. Follow us on Twitter at 3S Network for all your latest information and 360sportsnetwork.com as your one-stop shop to filling out the perfect tournament bracket. For 3SN, I'm James Dawson. Good night.